Michael Bluth had set up a meeting with Cal Cullen, owner of one of the largest parcels of land in Orange County. I hope that I can prove to you that we have a very impressive company. Well, your family did not come off well on last night's Scandal Makers. Scandal Makers was a show that reenacted headline-grabbing stories. The latest was about the Bluth family, the rights of which had been signed away by Tobias in exchange for the part of George Sr. When allegations surfaced that he'd illegally built homes in Iraq, George Bluth Sr., assisted by his secretary Kitty, escaped the country. Due to poor acting, the burden of the story was placed on the narrator. Only to be found hiding under one of the homes that he himself built. He was actually found in a hole near the house. But this inattention to detail was typical of the laziness the show's narrator was known for. Under the house. Perhaps an attic shall I seek. Real shoddy narrating, just pure crap. But we're back on track, and we are scandal-free. Hey! You start the meeting without me? Mother, uh, this is Cal Collin. You remember my mother, Lucille? We're right in the middle of talking about this exciting giveaway spa package to entice buyers. Yo, know, he's never taken me anywhere. Oh, no. We have to live high and dry. Well, you're certainly not dry. Michael, I'm not approved, but it's one o'clock in the afternoon. Is your mother drunk? I'd have to get up pretty early to get drunk by one o'clock. <laughs> As it turns out, she had gotten up early and had taken pain medication because of a hangover-related headache. However, she mistook the drowsy eye alcohol warning for a winking eye alcohol suggestion. Fortunately, she had the good sense not to drive herself to the meeting. No, I'll call for a car. Unfortunately, this was after a failed attempt to do so. Who the hell put... Michael, I'm sorry. I cannot do business with you. I mean, I couldn't afford to end up on Scandal Makers. Oh, you can afford to do anything you want. You're just a big chicken. A goodle doodle doo. A goodle doodle doo. A goodle doodle doo. A goodle. Michael realized that it might be time to deal with his mother's apparent problem. Okay. That seems as good a place as any to end the meeting. No, I am not doing another intervention with her. Last time I felt terrible for a week. One year earlier, the family had tried an intervention. Pour a drink? What are you doing? What if she's mad? Good point. That's all a little sip of something. Guys, what could she do to us? Do we have anything single, Mo? And although the intervention didn't work, Think you have a problem. You're a mesh. It turned into one of the Bluth family's better parts. <laughs> well, maybe an intervention is the wrong approach.